Hi guys, James here from Seekerhost. Today we're going to be looking at how we can use a download monitor so we can upload files and let visitors download the files for free and easily off our website. This can be any type of download and it appears very nicely like this. You can also click it to download and it will download instantly as long as you have a secure connection to your website with a HTTPS which you get free with Seekerhost. You can add as many downloads as you want, edit them, duplicate the download and you can also see how many people have actually downloaded them. You also get a short code so you can place it anywhere within your website or a download link which you can use instead. So let's get started and we're on a pretty much brand new website here. First thing you're going to need to do is first just check that you have your HTTPS in the settings. For that we're going to go to settings, we're going to go to general and just make sure that if you have got your SSL certificate activated on Seacoast it's very easy. You just click enable on your WordPress site and then once you're on here we're going to come, we're going to add the S here, we're going to add the S here and then we're simply going to save. Once we save we're just going to need to log in one more time with our information. There we go, now our website will be seen as secure and the downloads will be able to go through correctly. So next up we're going to go over to plugins and then we're going to to go to add new to find the download monitor. Search download in the search bar over here and on the top left you're going to see download monitor and it's going to look just like this. Just go ahead install now. Once it's installed go ahead and activate. Once you do click activate, it will then bring you to this screen here. We're not going to go through all the settings, but you can also create pages for no access, for your car, and for your checkout as well. Or you can click create page for it to create itself. If we go ahead and click on all downloads, you can see that I have no downloads here at the moment, but you can go to add new here, or you can go to the left and then go to add new under the downloads tab. Here, just make sure that you do title your download and then add a description. If you scroll down with the free version, you're able to upload the file, use your media file, use a custom URL, or of course, browse for a file to upload. With the pro version, you're also going to be able to use your Google Drive or Amazon S3. Once you click on upload file, you then get brought to your PC files where you can simply upload something. I'm just going to upload this image right here. You can set the version. You can change this to show a different count of an amount. Let's say you want to show that 20 have already been downloaded. And you also got the file date right over here. Scroll down a bit further, you're going to find the short description. So I'm just going to paste that in there. And you can also add custom fields here. You do that by adding the name and then the value of the field right here and then clicking add custom field. Now before we publish it, you can also choose whether to choose this as a featured download as members only, so they have to be logged in to download this, or redirect them to a file so you don't force the download. You can also add download categories and download tags as well so they can be found easier, along with featured images. So I'm just going to go ahead and set the featured image as the image so people know what they're downloading. Then we're just going to go ahead and publish the download. Now if we go to all downloads, we're going to find our test download right here, and we can either copy the shortcode or the link for it to be downloaded, and as you can see, it's displaying that it's been downloaded 20 times because we set that manually. So let's go ahead and copy the shortcode. It'll be the same for the link if you want to link it to a button, however, shortcode I find much better. Now simply just select the shortcode button. You can do this by searching a shortcode, or if it displays, choosing the shortcode. Then paste in your shortcode. So I'm just going to update the page, and then go ahead and view the page itself. Now simply click on the button to then download it, and it also shows this really cool little percentage mark here, and as you can see, we have now downloaded the image that we've just uploaded ourselves. So guys, thanks for watching. For any more videos like this, make sure to check out our YouTube channel, our TikTok channel, or any of our other socials in the description. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.